A rideshare friends, it's truly amazing how Uber spins the new city center feature and the costs uh, telling us that on the outskirts of these cities, we will uh, basically earn 10% less and uh, fees will increase by 5% for us in the city center, trying to draw us into the city center. But, but then again, you got to also look at how Uber is presenting this to the rider. So this is what the rider sees. Save up to 8%. So on our side, they're talking about 10%. And they, on their side, they're talking of savings up to 8%. On time, distance, minimum fares, base fares, cancel fees, wait time fees, and on route rates are decreasing for trips requested outside of the city center and are increasing for trips requested from the city center. The booking fee is unchanged. And then they want you to go to the breakdown. So, you know, there's two sides to every story. Obviously, they're showing us both sides of the coin. On the one hand, they're saying, okay, we're rolling this out in 10 cities, and this is what you're in for. And then the way they present this to the riders um, is in form of an 8% savings. Blows my mind. Um, got to really break down the math here, get screenshots from these 10 different cities. Um, if you can compare apples to oranges and let me know uh, what you were earning outside of the city center and now inside of the city center, do the math. Um, do some calculations where you're spending most of the time. One of the big reasons I don't like the city center idea is because our fees, our monies are made on miles and nice open stretches outside of the city to an airport, to a business center, to a convention center means you get onto the road and you clock miles and you get paid for the miles. We don't earn the money when we're stuck in that city center, traffic light to traffic light, heavy congestion, a lot of cars, a lot of people, a lot of bikes, a lot of pedestrians. You're not really moving. Yeah, you're clocking up time, but you're not putting on the miles and you're not getting paid. So it just blows me away how they extend discount after discount to these riders. And on the other side, they're not shy to take the money out of our pockets. Your thoughts. Thank you.